Hey, Cyril. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be here today for the for the mural and uh, and uh, and the Gum Tree Girls. Uh, I think it's really easy now to to look at Glen Park, the jewel it is, and see that it's well worth saving. But uh, when we were growing up, it was a little bit different neighborhood. Uh, it was kind of a it was definitely rough and tumble. Um, the alley was an alley that was fenced off and covered with. Uh, with fennel, the, the canyon was covered with uh, overgrown eucalyptus and blackberry bushes, and uh, it was a working class neighborhood. I, I tell people, when we were little, we didn't, we didn't get holy, we got beaten up, uh, but this was our home, and uh, my mother and, uh, uh, and, uh, and there you go, you know, fought, fought for their home, and uh, that's what they fought for. There's, there's a reason that school uh, ends at those two houses, by the way. Uh, and uh, I kind of wonder uh, what it would have been like if uh, Alfred Nobel had shown up when my mother was living uh, <laughs> and uh, tried to put a dynamite factory uh, in, in his backyard, uh, in our backyard. Um, I'm very lucky to have uh, both my, my parents living here and uh, in the house we grew up in and uh, four of my, or three, three of my four siblings uh, uh, here, uh, uh, here with me. Um, not a lot of people relate to their, their, their parents throughout their lives. I definitely relate to my mother. Uh, just about everything she's ever said to me, I've repeated to my children. I would repeat them now, but they haven't really been updated for the millennium, so we'll just, uh, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Um, but um, again, you know, not everybody has the opportunity to, to introduce their 91-year-old their grandmother, excuse me, mother, and I'm going to introduce my mother, uh, Joan Sarwell.